trying something new with this camera. I never did things in a side view. So hopefully I'm not wasting my time. See that? I noticed that there was trees that are white or have white a portion of them. Like you see this one, it's not that way at the tree trunk, but about a portion of the way up close to 50% or more, it's white. I don't know, I've never seen anything like that and there's a few of them around here and I was kind of thinking, did they dump something on these trees? Or is that something natural that occurs? Do you remember back in the 70s or 80s, around that time frame, it was common on a rare occasion to see people who actually painted the trees at least a portion of the way up. And if I'm not mistaken, it was to either keep wildlife from gnawing on the tree or was it termites or something, bugs, away from the tree. The tree still seemed to live if I'm not mistaken. Do you know anything about that? Are you familiar with that? We got bike riders. I am currently on a bike trail and I love to go biking on these trails. I don't have that much time for it. But I try when I'm recording to go biking like every... I say I want to do it like at my Sabbath day. So my Sabbath day is not every six days. My Sabbath day I try to be obedient to 10 to 14 days. There's a creek. So I try to be obedient every 10 to 14 days. And sometimes it may turn into three weeks or more, once a month. Because I am extremely serious about recording my Bulk Lotus songs up until I was about 50 uh, worldly years, of course. It didn't turn out the way that I was hoping it would before. I was really hurt, and I was very angry, frustrated. And I have to say, I have learned that if you are able, whatever that means, it's superior to working with people. Most people, when working with them, you will learn arrogance, ignorance, Asinine. These are words that don't usually manifest in the room when you're in by yourself. Other words will. But when you're around other people and there's a lot of difficulty. Hello. I gotta look down here. I'm looking up there for the camera. <laughs> this is gonna be weird. I gotta look down here. This way. Is that it? So I could do it this way. Is that it? Let's go back this way. This is the way I started, and I'll just look down here. But anyway, I thought this was cool. Sometimes I think about doing uh, videos, and there's certain things I would love to do, but I will not do when I'm by myself. And a large portion of that is because one could get hurt. And in my opinion, the world that we live in might help you. a stranger. I guess if God puts it in them, they would. So if God is for you, then most likely he would help you. I don't like to do certain things because of that. With that being said, back in 2013, I decided when I was done with the video, I would take a long walk. See way down there? All the way down there where they are. Bikes. And beyond that turn. So I'm going to turn this off because I got a ways to walk. I used to love going for walks throughout my life in the city. I had a dog for about eight years or so. You know, he was in my life till he was about 10, 10 and a half. I met him when he was like four or six weeks old. Anyway, I used to love taking him for walks. I used to love going for walks throughout the 70s and 80s. A lot in the neighborhoods of the city and stuff. And I still do like to go for walks. But I like to stay busy on my endeavors that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. So I don't get to do stuff like this too much. Um, I would turn it on later on. I don't know if there's still a bridge up here. That's as far as I went before. Okay, I'm trying to look down here. Look down here. I wanted to show the bridge 
And obviously, whoops, hold on a minute. I, I don't like to get. How you doing? See that? See the distance? And around that turn, I said to myself, if I remember, if I don't see anything of interest until I'm around that turn, by the time I'm around the turn, I'm gonna turn around and go back. Because I realized I was starting, it was, it was later in the evening. I realized it was going to get dark before too long. So I wanted to get a going. And I saw the bridge. Through all the trees. So, for whatever reason, in a very graceful a length of period of time, I started to kind of have a thing for bridges. Beautiful bridges. And since being in Ohio, I happen to be drawn to see stuff like that. And I like the covered bridges, the wooden ones. And I like all kinds of bridges. Do you know that since I've gotten my apartment and I've been working on my music, I refuse to ever think that I wish I was dead. In fact, I don't like to say it. Because it feels sometimes like the en enemy will take something like that saying and like a balloon, inhale it into your brain and try to hold it there. So I don't like to say that. And there's times that I would watch my videos, music videos especially, and I try to be careful not to cry. I do sometimes. And I think if somebody were to ask me today, I would say I would never, ever even think of thought like that. I do not wish things like that upon myself or anyone. I wish they'd get it right with God. It makes it a nicer place to live. I believe that God has been shunned in many ways. <laughs> and we're all kind of reaping that shunning. We're, we're all affected by the shunning. For the word of God lets us know if we shun God, then God will shun us. It happens instantly. And I believe a lot of people have been withdrawing from sharing more about psychology rather than this mysterious be the hands and the feet and go and minister into the world and be of help. It's the whole approach. Especially when your conversation is leading you even worse. And most certainly in slavery. You might start off looking like a person that the church community may or may not respect a little bit more than the average person, but by the time things occur, they may now be looking at you with a downtrod saying that it's surely not of God. And what's God letting you know? The same message. God has let me know, believe it or not, it may appear as though we're all talking to ourselves. Pay attention to what's coming out of your mouth and know that something that is drawn to you or assigned to you may be speaking through you throughout your life. That's what I was thinking that day. I think it was July 20. if this is really truly the place that I've seen some kind of headstone. I was wondering, you see those trucks up there? Did you ever wonder when you see a bridge like that, did anybody ever jump here? Did anybody ever wreck their vehicle there? Because I've seen stuff throughout my life. Did you ever like approach something like that and you have the thought in your head like you're wondering, did that ever occur? I would say,
That bridge is really tall compared to me. So uh, there, you, there was like some kind of headstone marking. I don't know if it was a wooden cross. And I could have swore that there was a writing of some sort, like a poem or a song. I think it was in a plaque that was laid down there. And I don't know if it was somebody's like animal or if it was somebody that evidently, unfortunately was in an accident or had jumped. We'll check again on the way back. I'm gonna go up here just a little bit more. Maybe we'll see it. Maybe not. I'm gonna turn it the other way for now. Look at this. I kind of wish that that was on this side, or I could get to that side. It looks like a really cool place to do videos. Look at this. Right there. turn it the other way. See that? Evidently this is it. And it might be. So I don't hold me in bondage to it. But I think there was a cross here. It's no longer here anymore. And I think there was something in writing that was there. So do you think the person was a writer? And by the looks of it, this is the path. And I remember, after my video and I came for the long walk, I wanted to check out the bridge. And then I seen it right here. I'm gonna turn it sideways for now. I could have swore that there was a cross, a wooden one, or a headstone. And then there was something of writing, and I don't know if I took it home to if I, in memory or if I took a photograph, because back then I, didn't, I don't think I had a smartphone with a camera, so this would have been the only camera I had. And I don't see it here. I was hoping that I could have, you know, taken a picture of it and seen what it said. So it looks like they put this foundation of rock stone and tarp maybe to offer respect I think it was for somebody that had jumped or was it from an accident maybe you know about it and if you do why don't you let me know okay okay I just found out that this is the Jeremiah Bridge on Interstate 71. In 2013, when I had come down here for my walk to get a look at the bridge, if I'm not mistaken, they were working on that side, which appears that it may be the north side, this south side, and they might have been using the south side for two lanes, but I don't know that for sure. I think, but I definitely saw road construction if I'm not foggy about what I'm thinking about existed. I think they were working on one side of the bridge. You do not see a writing here. I just talked to somebody and that evidently somebody committed suicide. They jumped and this is where they landed. Um, the writing is not here anymore. The cross is not here, but they made I guess like a little memorial with a stone rock. And I think that's really cool that somebody did that. You know, it's very nice. I'm sitting here and kind of paying my respects to, in my own way, conversating, talking to myself with God. I didn't know 
when I was here, if it was really something that happened and when it happened. I wanted to find information on it. I did not find information on it. I do remember that when I saw the writing, that there was thoughts in my head about singing those words in a song. I did not. That's one of the reasons I did research, as I was curious to know, is it a, a writing that's been around for a long time? Is it a poem? Is it from a story or a movie? If you happen to know any information on this very spot, the person it was, and maybe why it was, then I would appreciate if you could contact me at tracylynn 21 at gmail.com. My name is spelled T-R-A-C-I-L-Y-N. I have a Facebook where you can type in Tracy Lynn, one word, Michael. Okay? I wrote a song called In Dayton, Ohio, and that was based off somebody jumping in front of a semi-truck. I was confused as to whether or not it was Interstate 70 or 75. I tried reaching out to people at television stations and stuff, and I never heard anything back. I would like to say that I'm very grateful that I do not think of suicide at this time, and the biggest reason is because I've been in my own dome in doing things with my body that I greatly desired my whole life while sharing life with people who would love me. And though I know everybody loves in their own way, I never felt, but from a few people, genuine love. I felt disconnected in many ways from the human race. And I would have to say today I'm grateful for that because I realize I'm not the same as the majority especially when you get into the people who have decided to let God out of their own lives. I would just like to say um, that I hope God had mercy on this person's life and that they received peace and life eternal. them and hopefully they never died unless <laughs> it is not God's will for that human because we don't want things in heaven we do I'm sometimes pretty convinced that heaven is not necessarily all around us. It's inside of us. And if we allow it, it will consume us and be a mighty blessing into the lives of multitudes of everything. So, Feel good to sit here by the river. If you have any information I'd like to know. I'm nosy that way. If you ever come across something like this, could I just encourage you to be respectful to it? Because despite the fact that they built this whole bridge over here and stuff, things may have dropped on it concrete or something. And the fact that this still is present says a lot about the respect that it has already received. And I think it's um, beneficial for life in many ways. Sometimes when I'm at places like this, I think, wouldn't it be cool to cross paths with others that maybe have known of the person in some manner? And they didn't see you as an intruder, but somebody friendly. A lady had walked up to me with a dog, and she told me over the recent years that there is a lot less of that. And I said, I think that is good news. I think it's good if more and more people are finding healing and other alternatives rather than trying to end their life but ways that they may continue on, whether with emotional support or getting whatever.
whatever it is that they need tended to. I would like to talk more about that sometime. I don't want to do that right now because I didn't want to make a huge video um, at all about anything. I just wanted to grab something. So as I get up and walk away, I would have to say that I'm very grateful myself that I do not think. And if I remember at some point in the last two, three years, while I was sitting down recording, as I'm wrapping up this recording session, it's almost like God was letting me know psychologically that it is good to be alive. And it's very unique that you don't think the way you once thought. Only that's not exactly a quote. I think the question was, doesn't it feel good to be alive and not have those thoughts in your head anymore? There's no room for thoughts like that when the dominant focus, meditation, consumption is of what gives you joy, which at that time was listening to my music. Okay, so I'm out of here, and I hope that there is many more moments that you can hear of the good news that less and less people are finding ways to pretty much maintain life. May we always be kind to the ones we cross paths with. Give them an arm every once in a while. All righty, Rudy, hey there, Facebook and YouTube. My name is Tracy Lynn, also known as VCAT sporadically. Every once in a while, Tracy Lynn Michael. And I am a lover of life, a lover of God and what it means to me, the Holy Bible. And I really wish the message that I have been entering into would be at least an attraction to others, for there has to be another way than the way we become accustomed. And if you see something like this, if you can't be respectful to it, then stay away from it. Because I, sometimes it's nice to get out of like a uh, cemetery situation and maybe enter into an actual place where it appears at least to be where unfortunate that occurred, which may now be a huge blessing in the lives of many other people. For all kinds of reasons, maybe if we're shared, another human being would not understand or agree at all. So I would have to say that this is a place that I would bring of one of the ones that I visited in this lifetime that I appreciate and love in my own way for different reasons than a lot of people would think. And the river is beautiful, and the sound of the traffic is too. And it appears that they've done good work on that bridge. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Bye, Tracy Lynn, also known as V-Cat. <laughs>